hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Raya and in today's video I've got a autumn outfits idea so some of them some like stuff you would have seen some stuff are new so I'll talk about them when I've got them on and what I think about them and I really hope that you guys like it so without further ado let's get into it oh there is one more thing that I have to tell you guys because I'm really really excited about it is that decorators just popped by this afternoon it's Saturday today and they want to start Monday so we're gonna see a lot more changes happening um, in the house so anyways so guys this is the top that I wanted to show you now this I was like completely shocked so if you can see the, the neckline looks like a little teardrop it shows a bit of like your decolletage and I just have to quickly go show you this this matches my skin color this is like a sports bra like comfy thing from m and um, but anyways I just wanted to show you that this top is from the FW Bridge range and I think that is I'm just trying to find out who that is it's a collaboration of some sort but I mean the quality of this feels so nice it's got two little holes either side for thumb holes um but the quality of this jumper overall is like amazing can you see like it looks very expensive i mean it was i do remember how much this was because it was 35 pounds and it's more obviously from tesco's but on their premium end um these leggings are from commando and i just thought these are really cute together i've paired it with um these vinyl painted shoes that match like perfectly they are from h&m years back but I, I'm, I'm gonna see what i can find and link it but i just love this color overall and i want to put more like of an outfit together because i just want to like bring it all together so you guys can see what i mean so that means sunglasses handbags coats and a hat so I just rolled the top to make it more cropped and I think it sits better on because it does give me like it just makes you look more proportionate. I'm going to pop a beret on with this because as you guys know I love a beret. I think it's because I don't have a great deal of volume on top of my head. So you know it just shakes your outfit up. It just makes you look more kind of autumnal, keeps you warm and it gives you a little bit of like height around here. So I love this, like the colour scheme, the like the beige tones, the top, um, and the colours that we've got going on here. I want to pair this with a teddy jacket. Now I left my teddy jacket in the office, so this is another one that I've got from Mango. Um, I got this last year, and this is more like of a heavy winter coat. Right now we are experiencing very warm temperatures for autumn in the UK. So I'm just waiting for it to get colder, but I love this outfit. I mean, it's very autumnal all together. I love how it's got a high neck, but it's got a cutout detailing as well. And I also love the, like, <laughs> I love this bit here, how it gives you that detailing to go like across. How can I forget my handbag? I'm gonna have to run upstairs with my heels. But I love this with, a pair of glasses i think they look really cute i've got this bag here now this bag is from coach and it's a leather bag and it's got beautiful um like leather detailing here i love this color i love the bag i don't wear it that often because the chain i don't love the chain but it's a really good bag <laughs> overall i was wearing it tons last year so i think i'm gonna start wearing it again i'm in completely two minds about this outfit so this is from Shein. It's their like viscose soft fabric. It's actually cropped, and I love the fact that it's cropped. This is the neckline, so it just kind of gives you a bit more, like, you know, it's not as I would prefer the neckline to be a little bit like lower because it just makes this bit look very top heavy. But these trousers are new. They're from Abercrombie and Fitch. And I feel like I should wear a belt with this. But what I love about this is that it just gives you that kind of tapered, like, look, if you know what I mean, how it comes up to here. So it kind of, like, sucks you in. So if you look at the side bit, like, it's quite flattering. And this is the back of it. So I've got it with a pair of heels, which match perfectly. I just love this camel colour. And what I love with Abercrombie & Fitch is, like, from the leather trousers, which I'll show you next, is that 
the length is perfect this is a short leg and with heels this is perfect i'm going to try it on with some low heels and i actually prefer like if they had the short leg then i would go for a short leg if you are like five and under but i'm like five foot so if you are over then you can probably just like you'll be fine with like the short so i got these from shein they literally just came through look how beautiful these are i was like on a hunt they've got the manolo shoes and i'm just not going to spend that amount of money on a pair of shoes not when i need to invest it in my house right now so like i need to be buying fridges not shoes but this was like a bargain it's like faux suede i love the fact that it is faux suede i don't need to worry about it it's got a tiny heel um and it just looks really comfy but what i love about it the most is that it's got the gold bit here um and this bit is just plain so it's beautiful for like christmas i've got a skirt that i've ordered that's gonna look lovely with this this can be worn as a house shoe guys i have to show you these that i got from shein look like how gorgeous this is i hate the fact that it says like it's, it says made in china like it just kind of like we didn't need that there like it just looks a bit annoying i don't know if you can take it off um but yeah i got these in a two pack and this goes in my outfit i got a smaller one as well so if you've got like a smaller head you might not want like such a big thing shall i wear i'll wear this color for this one for the moment um i might even be in my room next week so i can't wait but i don't know if like like this is quite 60s i love this like, what do you guys think at this outfit you can wear this for work and this is quite elegant so if you want to be a bit bold then so yeah i feel like a belt could do but then your belt would have to go that way but anyways this is and i need to air it out it's got that kind of weird chemical fish smell to it so you want to be airing this out because people are going to think that you smell if you wear it and then you just walk past them so we don't want that so yeah if you want a bit of like drama then bring on the vinyl coat i don't like it i don't like it like this i'd probably wear it just open so which means this would go back in the loop so Yeah, I'd probably wear it, just leave this hanging like this. And I just love this hairband. Like, I really, really love it. I just think it's really like, it ha like, I don't like my pokey ears, like, but this goes over, it hides my ears. And I think with pearl earrings, like this is very, very 60s. So here are them together. They're just so gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna pop these on with this to see what the length is like. Okay, so this is it with the black shoe. No, I think it looks better pushed like this. I've got it with this bag, the Chanelli. So the length of these trousers with like, a, this is a very, this isn't even a heel, let's just call it flats. It just, it just about, like it doesn't touch the ground, which in a way is quite nice. But I love this. I would wear these as house shoes or if I don't want to wear like high heels because sometimes I go out and being so short as well. Sometimes you think like everyone's like up to here and <laughs> you want a little bit of a heel. But this isn't bad at all. Like it's like it's cute. It's very cute. I love the trousers. Thing like does it look nice on the butt? I'm going to change the top maybe. Like what do you think? I love the fact that the, cr the top is cropped because sometimes you wear these and you just think... It looks a little bit kind of like to like you're going to the office and you could wear it to the office as well. That's the beauty of these trousers. But if you don't, then you could just wear something crop like this. I think it looks really cute with a pair of high heels too. So love, love, love these shoes. This is the top from Shein. You guys, I am in love with this. This is probably like, I need more tops in this color um this is it's not quite the same this is more of a chocolatey um brown and it's more deeper this one's more of like an aubergine or eggplant color it actually matches my nails which is what the vibe i've gone for are from abercrombie and fitch i'm starting to fall in love with their bottoms 
I'm trying to see if there's any other retailer that do like bottoms that fit curvaceous people um petite people and love they do tall sizes got brown boots with this i could have worn the nudie color ones but i want to wear this and behold finally i get to, now this bag goes with a lot of things i just don't wear it as much as like i had the big version to this the gm i wore it for years and years and years massive bag this is so precious to me and i know you shouldn't be attached to material things my husband bought this for me for my 30th and I just, they discontinued, they, don't, they had it out of stock or something. Anyway, it came all the way from Paris. Um, and I love the aubergine colour. It's very like autumnal. I feel like I need more browns to wear this. Um, it's got a cross the body strap that I'm not putting on. I need to get a uh, adjustable one. But I love this colour. And again, if you want to kind of amplify your look let's face it people don't like to kind of say like leather's classy and i understand why i understand but you know what i've put this headband on and now i think i can say it's a classy outfit so let me know what you guys think about that i absolutely love it this is definitely a more wearable look i love the headband it's just you know i'm glad that it's actually like in a two-pack so you can wear um this the only thing that i'd say i'm really bloated at the moment um so these don't hold you in like the other trousers do but i mean it's comfortable and my colleague actually bought these and she said you know what the most comfortable pair of trousers she has worn so i might lift you guys up a bit i need to hurry up and film it's actually my husband's birthday today and <laughs> But I had to film, I had to get a video out. I had to show you guys all these wonderful things that I've got um, that I'm going to be able to pair and make new outfits. So it's just really, just like a, a tip, I suppose, is to kind of buy stuff like basics, like nice basics that you can wear with other outfits and in the same colour or similar tone. So for example, this tone is a little bit different colour, like let's say, but because it's like on the aubergine side, I can get away with it. This bag is also on the aubergine side of the brown. I can get away with it. Sometimes other browns, you can't always like, it's like greys. You'll never find the perfect match unless you get a set. So I guess just be a little bit mindful. But in real life, this like this looks more aubergine like because I've got a ring light on. And in real life, this actually looks great. Um, and the boots as well i'm definitely going to be wearing these to work because i wear these like maybe once or twice i might i wear them to work but i also wear them out out as well so love 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 and you know what i need these in a different color i need them in a light color because i've got like a i want to do a neutral lookbook um so i'm gonna i'm gonna get this in a lighter color and then show you guys like i can still wear this with this i can wear it with a lighter one i can wear it with the other jumpers that i've shown you so in a lighter color as well you can do the same and then you've got so many outfits and um, before you know it you've already got your whole wardrobe sorted out for the autumn and winter so in the autumn i like to go more brownie brownie because of the colors of the leaves and everything winter i like to go more neutral and black but i have just been wearing black throughout autumn recently so you know and i love this top i love how it hugs you as well it's a very like let me move my hair back like it just it's very drapey so i've got this in a size small and it just drapes it's in a gorgeous viscosity soft fabric it says the hand wash or you could put it in the machine it says hand wash or like delicate wash in the machine i don't know if it says that 100 percent, but i mean i probably would experiment like put it on a 20 minute wash on like a very delicate gentle cycle but otherwise it's a hand wash just soak it in water dump some soap in there detergent rinse 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 and then just let it dry okay so i got this again this one is from shein i bought it in black um the other ones are same fabric they're very super soft viscose fabric they look gorgeous and this is a crossover so i don't know if i've done a proper crossover here so you can make it a lot lower if you wanted to um so if you wanted to dress it for the evening you can make it a little bit more vava voom um, but you can also bring it up as well if you're in the office or something 
so anyways i got them with my vinyl leggings i don't know why but i'm really feeling vinyl more so this season i actually got little cat ears um that i got for i'm gonna wear for halloween so i'm gonna show you that in another video because i've got a cat suit as well which um, i'm gonna save it for another video because i want to get a couple of other ones to see which one i like the best um but i've got the headband on and i love this like even with a blazer I have a really nice long maxi coat like blazer thingy, but I think a short one would look fabulous with this. Let me know what you guys think. I've got some painted boots which are so old, they're comfortable, like I can still get away with them, but they're looking really haggard. So I want to get some pointy slimline uh, vinyl boots with this. So. This hairband looks like really, like there's all these hairbands from like a brand called Picante and other brands that are really expensive. And this was literally like so cheap, like it's mind boggling and it looks good, but I don't know how long it's gonna last. So look, this is it and it comes in two, like it's a two pack. Look how gorgeous that looks. I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear from this. The only thing I don't like is this made in China. It, um, like if you got your hair like this, it kind of covers your ears. Like I got a thing about my ears, like they kind of like the top bit sticks out. I know it's normal to have ears like you got their ears at the end of the day, you know, but I don't know. It's just it's one of those weird things like I kind of obsess. I don't obsess over it. It's just it's one of those weird things, okay? Um Guys, I'm just so excited to be getting back into my living room. So the top is from Shein and this quality does not look like, like Shein at all. Like look at this close up. So I'm all about quality no matter how expensive they are or how budget they are. I do like quality. Um, this bit in here is not so quality but it is inside here. No one can see it and I've already worn this twice this week. So I love the fact that it's got this neck line. It feels really comfortable. And I've got this hat on, this little pom-pom hat, which is so, so cute. So I'm gonna put this on with a belt because it just flatters like your body more when you've got a belt on. You see the quality just looks really, really lovely. I love the hat with it. I feel very Parisian. Oh, I feel like I should be in Venice on one of the gondolas. It's gondolas, right? Organzola. It's a god. I should know this, but it's been years since I've been there. But you know, I just feel like I need one of those things and just like do that with the boat. <laughs> Whilst people sit down. This down here, I think this looks very Parisian. Obviously, you can if you have a little black painted one, love. Um, or a painted. Like, it doesn't have to be painted, but I just feel if you want to like have a painted belt, I think that looks really cute as well. But I love the hat, I love the outfit all together. I feel like I've got some good outfits for this season. How do you like the hair? I um, had it in rollers last night. My hair's naturally curly, but I had a little bit more of like a, a tongy situation going on here. So guys, we have reached the end of the video. And if you like it, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, do join me again next week. I've got some halloween uh outfits that i want to wear so i want to try it on with you guys and see what you guys think um anyways i want to quickly show you my um how things are getting on with my extension so if you guys want to stay for that then don't worry i'll see you guys next week but if you do then come along with me let's go and have a look go and have a look i've got my ring light guys and i just i just can't wait to have this painted um, I've got to tell you guys quite a sad story. Oh my god, but before I do the sad story, let me just show you. But yeah, anyways, back to the sad story. So my electrician has basically just left. He's up and gone. We've paid him. Um, he's left our home in, I don't know if it's a safe like i don't know if there's live wires some of them i think there's cats on them but some of them don't have that so i don't know like i'm i'm like really worried and concerned um especially with the boys when you've got wires like sticking out of the wall like there and like on your ceiling in just various places 
um so a bit upset with that well not a bit i'm like really upset because he's just been paid and he's just taken a whole load of money which we can't afford to lose but anyways i'm not gonna moan i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna do whatever it is that i need to do um and we've got some good people working for us and stuff so you know we'll be all right um but yeah i just wanted to show you the patio quickly because we're gonna have the decorators as well they just pop by so i can't wait up be going back into my filming room so this is all the hardcore we're gonna have everything level like flush but in the garden right now we've got the steps these bricks are the exact step uh, bricks that we have on the side of our extension but they're a bit wet so when they dry they'll dry better and i know this looks very messy here but this is the inside so no one's really gonna see that um and that's only like the little update You'll probably see more of an update next week because the decorators are going to start, um, you know, they're going to decorate, they're going to put the mist coat on to seal the plaster. The, the tile is coming tomorrow to discuss a few things. So this room will be cleared again because at the moment it's estate. And um, yeah, there's things across, things are going to start moving. So I'm not going to dwell on being like sad because I, really, I was just heartbroken earlier this week. But I'm okay now. I'm gonna crack on with it, and we're just gonna get on with it, and we're just gonna move forward. And hopefully, we'll be in our home, our dream home, our forever home. And this has been wait, like we've been waiting to do this for such a long time. So, anyways, can't wait to see you guys. Thanks for staying, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.